Well, welcome back. I'm joined now by Andrea Jacobs of the Roaring Brook Ranch to find out about this year's Bands and Beans fundraiser. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, you're welcome. You're hardly a uh, stranger here to us <laughs> at Look News. How many times have you been here? I think maybe eight times. Eight times. So this is the 23rd annual event. Yeah. Who started this? Uh, Bands and Beans is for the Lake George Arts Project, and it was right. originally started with um, Jeff Gary, uh, my uncle, right. and John Strong from the Stony Creek Band, who is also the president of the Lake George Arts Project. That's great. Tell us a bit about the Lake George Arts Project, and then we'll move on to the event. It was founded uh, back in 1977, and basically it's a non-for-profit organization that um, works very hard uh, day in and day out to keep the music and arts alive in our region. Mm -hmm. So not only for our residents who are here year-round, but obviously the um, thousands of visitors that come to the Lake George area. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's a free outdoor concert or a great party like this as Bands right. and Beans, which is our largest fundraiser, or the, um, the annual jazz festival, uh, the Arts Project is always there to entertain our guests. You know, it's a great event, and as some of our viewers know, it's really well attended. Didn't you tell me that something like 1,200 people attend this event? Yes, uh, not at all at once, of course, but throughout You're the right. day, the doors open at 1 o'clock, and they stay until we kick them out at about 8 o'clock at night. It, uh, the bands end at around 7.30. God, I think I was one of those people they kicked out. The, <laughs> uh, so tell me, what do you expect when you go? Uh, it's $20 admission at right. the door or in advance if you go to the Arts Project office. 100% um, proceeds go to the Arts Project to keep it alive in our region. And um, so when you walk in, you get voting chips and you will uh, head past the main bar to the main dining room and you'll see over 30 restaurants set up. Their displays will be set up mm -hmm. um, to go sample their chilies. Um, they can be very simple meat chilies or with bean or vegetarian. Uh, there were some kangaroo chilies at one point. Um, it's well, just a, a good idea. <laughs> it really is um, whatever the restaurant decides to, to sell and, and to promote and to offer to the, uh, the people that come in that day. And we're talking about 30 some odd restaurants, right? Yes, yeah. Right. And okay. you get to vote on your favorites. Um, right. There's a President's Award, uh, the Hottest Chili Award. Last year we had um, some good contenders from Bolton Landing, uh, Fredericks, we had Druthers in Saratoga. We have Beans Country Store in Queensbury, way up north to Gore Mountain Center Plate Restaurant. Um, there are, it's not just in Lake George that the restaurants are uh, participating. It's all throughout our region, which is great. And you know what? There isn't a better cabin fever event than this, too, right? It's the That's dead it's of the winter. the right of spring. And Everybody goes in there, and between the chili and the dancing and everything else, the temperature gets into the 90s, I'm sure. It, it definitely does. And um, if you're worried about uh, eating too much, you can dance it off, right? That's, that's right. And um, I know some people are worried about, you know, what effects chili has on the body. That's okay, because we have Beano and Rolates available. Oh, and for <laughs> any of us that have digestive issues, we know what Beano is, right? That's right. Um, that's great. Well, this, is, this sounds spectacular. In addition to the restaurants, we also have a silent auction uh, that goes on at the same time. Again, they have, um, it really depends on what you feel like putting your bid on, but we have great uh, beer baskets from Hops mm -hmm. and Barley in Queensbury and uh, some wine baskets from the region as well, or Apollo's. Um, there, I know that there is a beautiful guitar up for bid as well this year, so oh, nice. we should have a lot of items, and we can't do it without the community's support. So gotcha. We're really All right. Thankful. Well, one more reminder that it's this Sunday, March second. It's from two to seven p.m. at the Roaring Brook Ranch, which is an easy run from here, right up the Northway to That's exit right. twenty-one. Twenty-one. Head west. Uh, well, yeah, you're heading you're south, actually. Oh, south. you are heading yeah. south. Well, north south. Right um, I should tell you who's online. You we can have, definitely um, do that. We have nine bands on two stages. Mm -hmm. uh, in the main bar, we kick off with Richie Ortiz, which is just phenomenal. He, oh, he's know, been there before. He, yes, sure. he's sure. definitely on our ticket all the time, every time we can get him. Um, we also have Big Fez and the Surf Maddox, who really will get you dancing. Black Mountain Symphony is new to us this year. They're uh, more of an Albany, Saratoga-based um, uh, group. We also have the veterans, as they call themselves, the Stony Creek Band. Yeah. And um, our our main, our headliner band is a dirt cheap band, and uh, they're not on the poster this year, and we apologize for that. They were just kind of a late entry, but mm -hmm. we are thrilled to have them along um, with us. And then in the Powderhorn Bar, which is a smaller, a little bit more of an intimate, uh, we will have the fireplace going because it's mm -hmm. still cold. 
Um, we have Rick Rourke and friends, Tim oh, Weckler nice. Band, uh, Chris Bellini, Austin Barosi is new to us this year as mm -hmm. well. So we are just thrilled to have the event back at Roaring Brook and, um, of course, all of those musicians and restaurants helping us out. Well, you know, you think about it for $20. You know, you get to hear all of that music, you get to sample all of that chili, yeah. and it's for a great cause. Yeah. I mean, what else do you need? Service with a smile. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thanks. Thanks very much for coming Thank by. Thank you. Oh, you're for welcome. Having me. Good luck. I'll see you Sunday. Thank you. And uh, to see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.